Hi there, thank you so much for attending this volunteer orientation and for your willingness to be a part of Legal Aid of North Carolina's pro bono relief for the COVID-19 pandemic. In these difficult times, we're thrilled that you're interested in assisting us respond to the crisis as the number of impoverished North Carolinians seeking legal assistance is steadily rising. We're especially seeing an increase in calls in the areas of housing, employment, domestic violence, and questions regarding government benefits and the Family First and CARES Acts. But we also see many consumer and collections calls, including fraud. We're asking our volunteers to provide remote pro bono services, including telephone advice, brief service which would be like writing a demand letter to a client helping them fill out paperwork or make calls to the adverse party and negotiate on their behalf and then if you're willing to provide extended service such as litigation and representation we would certainly appreciate it as would the clients but it is not required for this program please note that all volunteers are fully covered under legal aids malpractice insurance as long as everything that you do is pro bono as far as the referral process goes Upon calling legal aid, clients are pre-screened for three things, income eligibility, conflict of interest, and the nature of the legal matter for which they are requesting assistance. Open files are then divided up between legal aid staff attorneys and volunteers. Pro bono cases are referred via email. We ask that you please respond within two business days directly to the referral email to let us know whether or not you can assist. Once you've accepted a file, you'll be provided with any relevant case notes or documents that we may have received from the client when we open their file. As you can see here, this is a sample referral email. It includes the client's name, contact information, the name of the adverse party, and a brief summary of the legal issue as it was described to our intake staff. If upon speaking to the client, you learn that their legal matter seems different or has a more urgent deadline than what was stated in the referral, please let us know right away as clients are sometimes confused or accidentally leave out important information. Once you accept a case, you have seven days after receiving the initial referral email to make your first contact attempt with the client as outlined by Legal Aid's federal funding regulations. However, this does not mean that you have to finish assisting them within the first week. Please also note that you can schedule an appointment call by phone or email. If you're not able to reach the client on your first attempt, we ask that you make at least three more tries on three separate days. If no contact has still been made, please let the pro bono coordinator know and we will close the file. For the assistance that we're asking you to provide, Please start by interviewing the client for the relevant facts and then researching their legal rights and options and then reconnecting to educate the client on their situation, strategizing a course of action together and provide any brief services that are applicable, such as writing demand letters or negotiating with the adverse party. If no brief services can be provided, please advise the client on your recommendation for how they should proceed pro se. We ask our volunteers to please assist us by helping to manage the client's expectations. This means that we ask you to please not tell the client that you will send their case back to legal aid for representation, because unfortunately due to limited resources, we only have the capacity to represent about one out of every 10 clients who call for our help. Um, we ask that you please treat each referral as if the service that you provide is the only service and advice that they will receive. Once you finish assisting a client, you will fill out an interview summary form to be sent back to the pro bono coordinator. On this form, we ask you to please document the relevant facts of the case, as well as your recommended course of action and any advice and service that you provided to the client. Please also make sure to include copies of any documents that you drafted or received from them. A typical interview summary is about a page, give or take, and when we receive your summary back at Legal Aid, it will be sent to a staff attorney mentor, which I'll go over shortly, who will review the summary and either close or transfer the case if we are able to. Here you can see a sample interview summary, which includes a thorough description of the client's situation, as well as document 
acceptation of all advice and service that was provided by the volunteer. We're happy to provide several resources to aid you in the process of volunteering. As I mentioned, you'll be assigned a legal aid staff attorney mentor who will be available to answer any substantive questions that you may have on every referral. Additionally, we offer a free CLE webinar series and also have a library where old CLEs can be reviewed for training purposes, but unfortunately do not count as live credit. There's a link on your screen for the COVID-19 presentation recording. If you need to refer back to that as you begin assisting our clients, you're more than welcome to do so. We will also include a referral packet with each referral that will have relevant templates, sample interview questions, and resources for your own research purposes or to share with the client. Finally, as I said, we do offer malpractice coverage to all volunteers as long as all of the service that is provided is pro bono. Legal Aid wants to partner with you in assisting these clients during this difficult time. So please know that we are here to provide any and all support that we can through this journey that you're going on to volunteer. The Legal Aid Staff Attorney Mentor is available to bounce ideas off of or provide guidance and the Pro Bono Coordinator can help to facilitate communication and answer non-legal process questions about volunteering. There's no long-term commitment that is required. We are very grateful for as many clients as you're able to assist during these difficult times. And what we need to do in order to get started will be to set your preferences, which means that you get to choose how many clients you assist. We only send the referrals one at a time. So you get to choose how long in between closing each file before you would like another one. In addition, you can decide which legal problem areas that you want to be available to receive referrals for and your level of involvement. If you want to provide just advice and brief service as required by the program, that's perfectly fine. But if you want to uh, provide extended service and help with uh, litigation or representation, we absolutely encourage and appreciate as much service as you're willing to provide, as we know the clients truly do as well. Now that you've gone through this short information session on volunteering through Legal Aid, we ask that you please email pro bono at legalaidnc.org to schedule a call to discuss these preferences with a member of our team. Please let us know if uh, you have friends or colleagues interested in signing up or you can direct them to our website and ask them just to mention COVID. Thank you so much for taking the time to go through this training. We were, will be happy to answer any questions that you may have about any of the information that I've gone through here when we schedule that call. And we really look forward to working together to make a difference in the lives of those in need during these difficult times.